Hello, uh, Mark from Haunted Auckland in Paranormal New Zealand. Um, I'm here tonight with uh, Martin, who's an uh, ex-Kiwi. Absolutely. Uh, now living over in the States, and he's joining me tonight at one of our favourite haunts, the Lake House in Takapuna. So we're going to see what happens tonight. I'm going to sit in here for a while and uh, run some gadgets and see what happens. If there's anybody here tonight uh, with us, we'd really like you to come and speak with us. We've been here a few times in the past and we think we've communicated with a few of you, but uh, if you're around at the moment, please come down and have a talk with us. Paddy, Paddy if you're here, can you come and uh, talk? Paddy if you're here, can you come and have a chat with us? We'd really like to see you again. You run down the stairs, Patty. Can you see these devices that are sitting on the stairs? Can you run past them and make them light up? Or if you're a little bit shy, there's a device sitting on the table in the corner up there with a red light on it. Can you touch that one? That'll make a cool noise. Anyone want to come and talk to us? We're friendly. You can come and talk to us. Patty, if you're here, do you remember me? Do you remember playing dominoes with Amy? She was here with me at the time. Penny, I heard you can run up and down these stairs really well. Can you show me how, how quickly you can run up and down the stairs? Do you like playing on the stairs? Don't be shy, I bet you're really good at it. Is that you I heard running around earlier when I came in? I think I heard you running down the hallway, I'm not sure. Was that you? Are you down the hallway? Can you come and say hi? You can come and say hi to us. We've got some cool toys over here that you can play with. They're sitting on the stairs. Can you come and play with them?
find knock, can you knock back somewhere? Can you do that? If I knock, can you knock back somewhere? Can you do that? Can you go like this? Do you want to try one more time? Can you knock? Yes. Yeah. Right, we're upstairs now in the mezzanine. Is there anybody up here? If you're here, can you come upstairs and talk to us? You don't have to be shy. First of all, it would be good to see if we're talking to somebody, if anybody is here. You don't have to come close to us if you don't want to. There's a device on the bottom of the stairs that has a red light on it. You can touch that one. That'll make a little beep noise and it will change colour. That'll help us communicate with you. If you don't want to touch one of our devices, you can just knock on a wall. If you can hear us, can you knock once? If you're downstairs, can you knock once? There was enough there, but it's probably just the building. Yeah, I think it was right. It was enough. Movement. Was on a purpose knock. No. If you're upstairs with us, can you knock once? Tell us where we can find you. You tell us to come to you. You tell us where you are. Can you make a noise and tell us where you are? If you make the noise, we'll follow you.
We just want to know who you are and, and why you're here. And anything else you want to tell us, if we can help you in any way? If you're upstairs with us, can you knock once? Let me drink the better out of my monitor again. So that's twice now, is it? That's twice. It's brand new battery the other second. Okay, so for the recording we've had two battery drains, two battery drains from the Mel Meter. In a matter of minutes really, isn't it? I would place it probably less than 10 minutes ago. Mm. That would last for hours. Are you draining my batteries? Is that funny? You're a bit cheeky, aren't you? If you are draining it, can you touch it a bit more and make it light up for me? here finally. Can you come and touch it again? Can you walk down the hallway? It's okay. You can come close. It's only me. Can you come and choose which one you want to play with now? Is that the one over there that you want to play with? Can you light it up? Or do you want to play with this one? Or do you want to play with that one? Is it that one? Can you show me again? That one? Can you go stand next to that one and light that one up? Or is it that one? Is that the one you want to play with? You show me, which one? Is it that one? Can you do it one more time? Can you make it light up one more time? Hey, there we go, awesome. Cool, now do you want to play a game? So you made that one light up, can you now go over to that one and that, make that one light up? So let me ask you, those, those devices you have there, yeah. when the green and red light goes off, what does that mean? It just levels of um, EMF. And vibration. Okay, so that one, when you were downstairs and you were spinning the room, that one was going twice um, green and red. Okay. And then I asked it to do it again, it went green and blue. Okay, and so, so we're going to do it one more time and it went green and blue. So when you go into blue, so that's the air pressure drop. Okay. 
Okay, so the atmosphere changed a bit. Mm. That's nice. Did you film it? I think I've got it here. <laughs> it's always the way, isn't it? I know, yeah, yeah. I've got it on this camera, which isn't my, my best camera. Can you do it one more time if you're here? Can you show Mark how you did it? Don't be shy. You show me how you did it on that one. Can you do it again? Don't be shy. You show me how you did it on that one. Can you do it again? Or can you do it on that one? You show me which one you did it on. If you made the lights flash, you did very well. It lets, it lets us know that you're here with us. So if you could keep doing it, that'd be great. If you do it again, we can play more games. Can you make it light up again? Or fill the toilet. Yep. Yep. Or do that. <coughs> it's all good. Yeah. We'd like to see you light it up again. Can you... Can you change the lights on it again? Can you come and touch it? Get close to it? You show me which one you did it on. It's okay, don't be shy. You can show Mark how it works. He didn't see it. So can you show him? I suppose all it would take would be for a, a breeze mm. to go down the hallway, but there's, I don't think any sort of there'd be any breezes because there's no open doors or open windows and. No, yeah. There wouldn't be a breeze powerful enough to sort of come up the stairs and go down here enough to sort of change the atmosphere. No, exactly. I wasn't moving at all. So yeah, definitely the green and red and then it was, um, I'm sure it was green and blue together. It was two flashes as well. Come up and play with us. Come have some fun. You know how to use it because you touched it before. So can you touch it one more time? Come and show us how it works. Don't be shy, it's okay. Jeez, <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? your stomach? Whoa. Yeah, I know I got water. For the record, that was a motorbike or something? Driving by? She's played on my thermal too. Oh, really? Okay. All freshly charged. Oh. Yeah, this one hasn't been flat yet. It's still hanging on there, is it? For the recordings, we're getting quite a bit of battery drain here tonight. Uh, now my my Fleur thermal imaging camera has uh, been drained. Haven't used it at all tonight, and it's freshly charged. Yeah, there wouldn't be any reflections in the window unless it was reflecting from 
Well, it, the, that, look, those lights are aimed back at you, so it wouldn't be you. Yeah. Um, those are all down low on the ground. That's... You know, you think your eyes playing tricks on you, and you, know, you see it, and then you go, was it my eyes? Okay, so we've just seen a, a light down in the bathroom, you reckon? Yeah, it was... It was the width of... It was in the bathroom, because it was the width of the doorway. And it was almost like a light came through, kind of through the light, you know, and basically shined up the whole the whole bathroom. That's what it looked like. Okay, that green light is getting to return that green. Are you in the toilet? In the bathroom? Just a flash. Just a flash. Yeah. yeah. So there's no way any headlights can reach there. There's um on the other side of that window is the corrugated iron roof from another building, and there's just the fields and paddocks and there's um sort of bush. There's sort of trees in the way there. So there's definitely no cars or headlights or anything like that out, out there. Um nothing can really come from there's no other windows there. The only other windows are here, and there's like roofing there, there's roofs of another building there. There's roofs out there, so you can't see any headlights from over there. And the only headlights that would be from would be from down there. There's the road over there that you can see. There's a road over there with headlights, and we would have seen it if it reflected from way over there. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. Always the bathroom. Yeah. We've seen quite a few shadows in that bathroom, so it's interesting. We're seeing a light now. You do it one more time, really loud, on the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Was that you? Excellent. Come on. But I thought I detected something. Didn't no, I? I heard something. A small kind of roll. Maybe a thing under the door now.
Okay, we were upstairs doing a communication session and we heard a uh, tap knock sound from downstairs, came down to a look, and it's just one of these information cards that has uh, fallen off the wall and hit the ground. So that's debunked. Okay, hello. A little bit of excitement there. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> we had a great time with you last time. Do you remember us playing with the dominoes? It's great fun. I don't know if it was inside or outside. What'd you hear? But like, like quite a bassy. Does it have a veranda? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Almost you know, like an outdoor veranda type sound. And there's the veranda downstairs as well, there, on the front entrance. Right. Definitely wasn't inside. Was that you I just heard running around, Betty? Sounded like you were running outside. Can you come inside? Can you run up the stairs? 